Hello everyone, my name is Gustav Larsson and I'm a nature photographer based here in Sweden. Besides photography, I love kayaking. I've been doing it for pretty much my entire life. I even got some national titles here in Sweden in flat water racing. And today's video is about how I combine these two interests in getting the camera into new places and new angles to get the, the type of, of bird photography especially that I'm looking for. Seabirds and waders is the goal for this and some low angle shots that's really, that's really eye popping. So the emphasis is going to be put on the kayaking gear and what type of kayak that you, should, you, you could use or I prefer to use and how I work with it. So let's get right to it. I'm gonna start talking about this cat right here. As you can see, if you take a look at the hull, it's shaped as a U, really a U shape. And that is for speed. Not stability or anything like it, just pure speed. If you look at, if you take a look at real racing kayaks, they have the similar shape, just just thinner. Basically as thin as the your hips, okay? So that kind of shape, that U shape is not good at all for photography. You need a lot more stability to to feel safe with your I mean ten thousand dollar gear okay so big no no to the U shape okay big no no second of all we have the uh, a real C kayak okay so this is designed to take luggage out in the ocean to get you to bring your tent and whatever you want to do to kick it have a kicking time uh, on a beach somewhere where no one else could go taking a look at the hole of this one you see that it's a bit round but still it has some flat sides on it here at the at the very bottom so it's a combination about speed it's a combination about stability as well as course Stabil how safe it is holding a course. You see you have somewhat of a line going straight through and that is important when you want to be able to hold the course good. So this one is is good. You have stability and a good cack that you actually can use in terms of cacking in cacking a distance. Third out is the, this is actually a polo kayak. If you ever seen kayak polo, this is the type of kayak they're using. Very similar to, to whitewater kayaks as well. So I brought just this along to, to show you how extremely flat they are. And that might be a really good thing, or two good things about it. When you go on a really shallow water, this is the kayak that goes Goes, can go on shallow water the best of these types uh, and the maneuverability on this kayak is extreme it is designed to maneuver in whatever conditions uh, just as a whitewater kayak so these two are the types that you actually I, I'd say you can go out with a big camera lens on so we're gonna try them out Okay, so why am I talking about maneuverability? Any ideas? That'll give me a clue. Shooting alongside with the kayak's direction is good. It's, it's stable and it's safe. But having the, the camera perpendicular to the kayak is not a good idea. It's tend to throw off the balance, throw off the center of mass, so you get you get imbalance in the kayak. So never ever have the kayak have the camera pointing in this way. <laughs> but as a photographer, you know that if you have the camera pointing in that direction, the action is happening over there. Okay? So we need something maneuverable, a maneuverable kayak, so move. So we can move it accordingly. Okay. The thing is with this kayak is that it's pretty damn hard to turn. It's easier than a racing kayak, much easier. 
but still, it takes time. I've now turned 180 degrees and the bird is gone. Sad story, but true, believe me. And now, I present to you, the revenge. Designed for extreme maneuverability. Just, just look at it, how it, how it rotates without, without a blink of an eye. Just, see? <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? Do you remember the flat bottom? And this is the outcome of that flat bottom. It's extremely easy to rotate. It's just a flat bottom, two flat surfaces rotating against each other. Uh, so you always can have this pointing in the direction where the action is happening. The thing is that once you've found that bird to shoot, <laughs> non-lethal that is, still shoot, you put the paddle down and lean forward to take your photo. What happens then? Because it's two flat surfaces rotating so simply against each other, even the slightest gust of wind or current or uneven stroke will cause this. Just a slight speed, angular speed, will cause this rotation to continue. And you see, if you're my <laughs> if you're my bird, I'm in the danger zone now. This is not okay. This is the direction I want to shoot in. Okay, and this is really really frustrating if you're gonna try this out take my word for it so no revenge no no okay just a recap we've ruled out the uh, the racing kayak the u-shaped racing kayak no go and we also ruled out the the white water the the polo kayak the very flat bottomed okay it was rotating too easy, it was too maneuverable, okay? So that leaves us with the with the sea kayak. It is great performance in the water, just kayak. It can take waves, it can take it can, it can take luggage, and it, it's safe, it feels safe, it's stable. And you can get a camera out there with, with not that much of a problem. Okay, now to the next part. How to connect the, the camera to the kayak? My solution to that is this piece of metal with plastic attached to it. It's basically a piece of metal which I can attach a tripod, a normal tripod head to. Okay, I've decided myself and had a friend of mine make it real, make it happen. And the thing I wanted to have is something low, you see, in front of the cag there's, a, there's kind of a platform which you can put things on. Uh, it's not high and it's no way space of a normal tripod uh, which, in, which differs from what people call kayaks but not really kayaks, they're more like canoes which open, which you actually can put down a tripod somewhat uh, quite comfortably but that's not the deal here, okay? So we need somewhat of a platform to put to mount the, uh, the tripod head to and this is it. If you don't want it make such a design yourself, you'll be design uh, creates and uh, makes one. It's called Table Top Pod, I think. Uh, I could put the, the link in the description below with the name of it. Really similar to this. I have attachment points so I can put strings on it, so I can really attach it safely to the kayak, and some padding for it not to, to hurt the kayak as bad as it should have otherwise. Um, so let's get this on the kayak. Okay, I've just mounted the tripod head of my liking onto this platform. It's a gimbal head, and for those of you who doesn't know how this works, it's basically that it centers the the center of mass of big lens and camera combination right on top of of the the turning point, the pivot point, and which make this very maneuverable, very easy to handle, lovely, so much better than anything else. To be honest. Uh, I fix the uh, the entire platform onto the kayak using these ropes, strings, or whatever you call these. Uh, one goes around the kayak, and one goes around the cockpit. And you see details of that in a second. So this is the final setup. We have the kayak. 
it has its drawbacks with the with the turning point, but it's a stable, it's safe, it's fun, basically. Uh, and I have the camera on on my platform, the gimbal head. I'm just gonna give you another tip because every time you're going to take a shot, okay, you're gonna put your paddle down and start shooting, and then it's good to have your paddle in a strap. Okay, that's attached to the cab because it might slip away from you. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you learned something new. Maybe open some new ideas, possibilities, whatever you want. Uh, but there's two more things. One important thing, and that's and that's safety. Okay, you have to know the kayak before you get into it with your camera. Know your kayak, know how it reacts in different waves, different circumstances, winds, and how know how to maneuver it. Otherwise, you won't be safe, you won't be able to shoot at all. Okay? Practice. Practice. And safety. Not only for your, for your camera gear, but for yourself as well. Use a life vest. I was just illustrating out there, just <laughs> along the shoreline. So use whatever precautions you can to keep you safe. The other thing is that if you have any questions, just leave it in the comments below and I answer it as soon as I can. Have a good one. I'm out.